Hey guys, I'm Tom Pagano, and thank you for tuning into my channel, Alto Pictures Presents. I think you'll enjoy the channel uh, if you enjoy music and entertainment, because that's what we're all about here. But I want to get one thing out of the way at the beginning. Hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when a new show is up. And let's spread the word. Let's get Alto Pictures Presents out there to as many people as we can. Anyway. To get things going, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself so you know where I'm coming from. I've been in the entertainment business for about 30 years. I started out as an audio engineer on Long Island, 1982-ish. Um, I worked in a studio with Don Casal, and then after that I left to work at my father's place, a club on Long Island, right track in as a live engineer and as a freelance. And then when video came out in the mid 80s when it started becoming big I switched crossed over to to video and I've been there ever since I've been doing a lot of uh, touring I've been around the world with the likes of Metallica Bon Jovi Rihanna Jay-Z um, and others but I also been working with local musicians uh, putting together content for them as far as music videos live performances uh, which you can see a lot on here both old and new, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, th the purpose of this is to give another platform for entertainment. Uh, this there's a lot out there, but there's not that much for newer acts. So let's see what we can and bring this to as many people as we can. And also, I've been working on a documentary, which we'll be getting into a little bit here, called Is There Still Soul in Rock and Roll? And I'll explain a little bit about that in a little bit. But let's get to our, our first uh, performance. And this is a video I shot, I guess it was in 1983, 84, when video equipment was much different than it is today. But it was uh, a person called Todd Washburn. And we went to Manhattan and we shot this video called Pretty Sweet Thing. So check it out. I'll see you in a few. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a, a fun day. It was uh, just me, my brother Frank, uh, my sister in law Yvette, and a small crew of people shooting that video. And in fact, uh, for people who know my brother Frank, you see him in the cameo. He's that guy that gets his guitar taken away from him in Brian Park. But anyway, that was uh, Todd Washburn. Pretty sweet thing. We did that, like I said, that was in the, in the mid 80s. Uh, maybe mid to late 80s. And like I said, um, video back then was a lot different than it is today. A lot more gear, uh, a lot more carrying stuff around. And the editing process was everything it was a black box. It wasn't you buy a plug in, put into your computer. If you wanted something to do with special effects, you bought a black box, tied it into your, your, your switcher, and it was very expensive that, that, in those days. I appreciate today because it was much cheaper and more efficient. But it was a challenge, and I did learn a lot doing that. Anyway, let's move on. Now I'm going to shoot. Um, I did a show back in, again, in the early 80s um, called The Entertainment Window. And I shot many bands uh, in the club. I rented out a club and we shot two songs each. And um, it was sort of what this is on a smaller level was for uh, public access TV and um, was to show live acts again, local live acts and give information. We had, I had uh, some lawyers talking about how to get into the music business and what to protect yourself on. So it was an informative thing. But anyway, this was a band I, I worked with and uh, used to play at the right track in years ago. Um, they were one of the be best bands on Long Island years ago, and they're still around. They're still great, great musicians, great guys. Uh, Broken Arrow, and they were on, on the show. And this is a song I did with them called Black and Blue. Enjoy it. i 
Wow, that brings back memories. Broken Arrow, what a great, what a great band. Uh, excellent musicians, excellent songwriters. Joey, rock on, and all you guys. Anyway, I was going to talk about a little bit about uh, a documentary, which I'm going to tie in, into this show. It's called this Sill is there still soul in rock and roll? Um, and the purpose of this was and is to see has modern technology taken the soul out of music or placed it somewhere else, so to speak. Um, meaning back in the day, you know, guys got together in, in the studio or in a room in a garage in a basement and played and there was a connection there. And now, um, it's a little bit different, and that's, I mean, that still obviously happens, but sometimes you could just get behind a computer, download a few uh, clips, put together a song, and put it out there. And the purpose is to see, does people, do you still think that soul that you had when guys and women uh, got together and played, is it the same as putting something together quickly? And, and it's sort of just an overview on the perspective of where music is at today and I have no I went around doing a couple interviews with people and uh, I'm going to show you some of that now but also I would like uh, any of you that have an opinion on that to uh, go to my Facebook page and message me with a 30 second video of what you think is it still soul and rock and roll has it changed has modern technology taken it out of music or has it enhanced it or has it displa uh, displaced it and uh, let me know what you think all right so here's a few people down in atlanta with their opinions on what they believe is there still soul in rock and roll a lot of the new the new uh, rock and roll artists, they're not, they're, not good. they're not as good to me as the old ones, like Jimi Hendrix and uh, Rolling Stones. And, uh, so they got a little ways to go in order to, you know, to be, uh, keep with the legends and all that. To me. Yeah, I do. I do. Because a lot of stuff is, uh, people aren't really making it. They're they, they using uh, synthetic. A lot of synthetic music is just getting through now, and it seems like it's not coming from the artists. It seems like it's just... People really just trying to make money. They're not singing from the heart anymore. So like, yeah. uh, that's why I like jazz. <laughs> okay. I love, you know, jazz is like, you experience what the artist has experienced. And you can't experience that with technology. I remember uh, back in the day um, when technology was first being incorporated into radio, and that's one of the reasons why I left radio. A guy asked me, he said, how did I feel that I could be replaced by a computer? And I told him, I said, you know, I'll never be replaced by a computer because computers don't have that human touch. And that's what you got to have, that human touch in music. I might as well ask you the main question now. Do you, do you think that soul and rock and roll still today? No. 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 Not in what it's they hard. publicize. It's hard anyways. to find it, yeah. Um, I mean, there's still artists, I know for a fact, that have it, but they aren't the ones that make money for whatever reason. I don't know what that reason is, but... That's not what sells right now, it's more sex, I think, than the music. So because appearance is everything, it's not really the music. You know, before you could have an artist that you never knew what they looked like before you went to see them live, and now it's, I mean, Instagram, everything's, we're opinionated on appearance before the music, before we let it speak. Right, right. Okay, thank you, and again, guys, message me on my Facebook page, Tom Briano, and uh, I'll go to you know, Messenger and leave a 30-second video, and um, we'll put it up on a segment here. This way you could get your views seen and uh, your opinion out there, and we all can see. Anyway, back to this show that I was doing. Um, we also had Grim Jack um, come and perform, and they were another awesome Long Island band who's still out there rocking and playing. Um, so let's check out this little video by, uh, this little video, this video by Grim Jack.
right, guys. Thanks. Uh, that's, that's it for today's show. I just want to thank you all for uh, joining in. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy putting it on. And I'm going to try to put something up every week. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Uh, this way you're notified whenever something new comes up. And uh, I have more footage. I have more stuff I want to share with you um, from uh, bands that I recorded earlier. And some more old videos and uh, more interviews. So come on back. Check out. Keep on coming back and keep on checking out. Alto Pictures presents. And uh, this is was a great show one. And hopefully many, many, many more to come. So again, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and spread the word. Rock on.